And speaking of Mr. Trump calling out his detractors or in some cases reporters this weekend. He took issue with this reporter's assertion at the last presidential debate that his now defunct school, Trump University, had received a D-minus rating from the Better Business Bureau in 2010. Mr. Trump is off base. At the debate, Mr. Trump claimed that his embattled Trump University had been upgraded from the D-minus rating you see here to an A. I noted that this had never been publicly available. During a commercial break, Mr. Trump approached the moderators with a document he claimed was proof of Trump University's A rating. The document shown here says nothing about Trump University, but relates to another entity. We agreed to look into it, but apparently not fast enough. I gave you the report card. I gave you the A during the debate because they said it was a D and it was an A. You did something very dishonest. You didn't report it. After the debate, we made inquiries about that document which had not been authenticated or verified and which the Better Business Bureau denied sending to Mr. Trump at the debate. On that night's Kelly file, we offered the following. Trump came over to us after that break and brought out a, a business, a Better Business Bureau uh, accreditation notice for the Trump Entrepreneur Initiative. And this says that Trump Entrepreneur Initiative on a scale of A to F has an A rating. But what the point I was trying to make was when Trump University was operating and got into trouble, it was given a D minus rating. That was the last right. public rating yes. we had. Exactly. And then once he began it under a new name, it had this A rating. Mr. Trump now accuses your humble debate moderator of dishonesty. We stand by our reporting, which has been verified by multiple news organizations as well as the Better Business Bureau. Trump University had a D minus rating before it went out of business in 2010. The claim about the A is quite simply a head fake. The company at issue is Trump University. That's the business at the heart of the many fraud lawsuits. In 2010, under siege, Trump University changed its name to Trump Entrepreneur Initiative, or TEI. It was that business, TEI, only operational for a few months that received an A. And while Mr. Trump now claims that Trump University is not out of business. No, not out of business. It's not out of business. It's suspended until I win the lawsuit. That too is untrue. Trump University no longer exists. Its successor, TEI, was effectively closed within weeks of opening, as Mr. Trump's own testimony in the case makes clear. Here's what he told a court in 2013, quote, Within weeks of changing its name, TEI stopped accepting new students, offering live seminars, or engaging in any advertising, effectively ceasing its operations. And those folks are the facts.